Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial series, we will wrap our head around Power Apps Component Framework. We'll use a Power Apps Component Framework and build a PCF control. New to Power Apps Component Framework or PCF? Don't worry, I'm here to go ahead and clear all your doubts. Please feel free to follow along. We are going to build a code component real soon. But before we build a code component, let's look at the basics. Firstly, what is PCF or what is code components? The Power Apps Component Framework empowers professional developers and app makers to create code components for model-driven and Canvas app. I'll again repeat, code component for model-driven or Canvas app. Now you'll say, Clavin, Power Apps is a no-code solution. Why are you talking about code? Yes, it's a no-code solution, but behind the scene, there is code. And we are going to write controls, which are complex and which can help other power users build Power Apps better. Okay, so don't worry. You don't need to be an expert. You need basics of JavaScript and HTML to follow along this tutorial. That being said, code components can be used to enhance users working with data or forms, views, dashboards, and Canvas app screen. This is getting started, so we'll focus on Canvas apps. We'll build a component for Canvas apps. So that being said, what are the advantages of a code component? First and foremost, seamless server access via web APIs. So if you're working with model-driven apps, Web API does the real magic. You can query the data from the forms. You can do multiple things using the Web API. Secondly, it supports modern web practices. Now, when I say that, I said you can do it with basic HTML and JavaScript, but don't go ahead and misunderstand that you can do it only with HTML and JavaScript. You can also use frameworks such as React, complex CSS, and beautify your app. That being said, it is optimized for performance. You don't have to do a whole lot of things to optimize performance for the Power Apps component framework. It is built in. Secondly, it also comes in with a built-in test hardness. So you can actually test your component before you deploy it into your CDS or Dataverse, right? That being said, it creates, it bundles all the files into a single solution. So you don't have to worry about having sub or maintaining separate files. It creates a solution package. That solution package will hold all your code, all your CSS, all the JavaScript, and it is a single code component. What are the prerequisites for developing a code component? First and foremost, you should, you should have Visual Studio Code. You should have the latest LTS version that is recommended of Node.js. You need to install the Microsoft Power Platform CLI and .NET build tools. Now, from where will I get these particular tools? That being said, let me actually point you to a documentation which will help you with getting the tools. So to get the tools, you need to go to this link. I'll add the link in the description section below. It's basically talking about the prerequisites. So you need to go ahead and install the Visual Studio Code. You then need to install Node.js and you need to install Power Platform CLI. I already have the tool links installed and the installation is pretty straightforward. Just follow this article and you should be able to do it. That being said, let's go ahead and pick this up in the next tutorial and we'll build and we'll start building our code component. Thank you.